day in Sing Song City. Beep and the band had just finished taking the school children home and were on their way back when suddenly... Achoo! <laughs> oh! Oh! What was that? Sneeze, Bo Peep. Are you all right? Oh, no, Peep. I've got a d terrible <laughs> cold. Oh, dear. I was rounding up the sheep this morning when it started to rain. And you see, I I'd forgotten my coat and got wet <laughs> through. Well, the best thing for a cold is a nice cup of hot tea. Uh, well, uh, I heard the best thing was to drink a large eggnog, dear. Nah, stand on one foot and then blow a loud, fat raspberry. Oh, don't be silly, Drum. Well, it works for me. Oh, oh thanks, Drum. I'll keep it in mind. Come on, I'll give you a lift to Polly's. She's sure to put the kettle on for you. You'll be better in no time. Oh, I can't, Beep. I've got to give my sheep a, a haircut. Their chew wool has got far too long. <coughs> Don't worry, Bo Peep. We'll make sure the sheep get a haircut. So Beep took Bo Peep off to Polly's. Meanwhile, the band tried to get the sheep ready for their haircut. Unfortunately, this wasn't as easy as the band thought it was going to be. So, what are we meant to do with these, trombone? It's a bit big to blow my nose on. <laughs> oh, they're not for that. They're for tying around the sheep. We don't want them to get wool down the back of their necks while they have their hair cut. Oh, no, man, I hate that. Shush. OK, band, slowly does it. Hey, trombone, are you sure this is going to work? They look a bit sheepish to me. One, two, three, now! <laughs> This is most embarrassing. Don't worry, I've got a great idea. Beep had dropped off Bo Peep and was on his way back to help the band. I wonder how the band is getting on with the sheep. Oh, dear. <coughs> Come back here. Oh, my. Uh, oh, man. Which sheep was mine? Stop! Ah, oh, hello, Beep. Uh, look, the, the sheep, they just don't want their hair cut. What are we going to do? I know. Let's take them to a proper hairdresser. OK, sheep. Who wants a ride? <coughs> OK. Then climb aboard. Oh, oh. Where are we going, Beep? To see the coolest hairdresser in town, Mr. Snip. The sheep really enjoyed their first ride in a bus and found everything they saw very funny. But poor Daisy found the sheep a bit too loud. Hello. 
Mr. Snip. Yo! Good to see you, Beep. Hey, what can I do for you? Well, Little Bo Peep's sheep need their hair cutting. Hey, no probs. Sheep are my best customers. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't call me a bobber for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants a cool hairdo? <laughs> first things first, we have to find the right sheep look. <laughs> Hey, Beep, that's the sheep all finished for you. Oh, wow! They look really good, Mr. Snip. I can't wait to see what Bo Peep thinks. Everyone aboard? Then let's go! So Beep and the band took the sheep back to their field, where Bo Peep was waiting. Are you feeling better, Bo Peep? Oh, yes, Beep. The tea didn't work, but standing on one leg and blowing a loud raspberry did. Thank you, Drum. Well, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome the sheep! Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home. Little Bo Peep had lost her sheep and didn't know where to find them. But all of the sheep have come home to Bo Peep, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep, Little Bo Peep. Thanks to Beep and the band, Bo Peep got rid of her cold and got the coolest sheep in Sing Song City. And from then on, the sheep never minded having their hair cut, just as long as Beep took them to see Mr. Snip. Little Bo Peep, Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll go home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep, Little Bo Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. 